Uh, this is our first lesson in AP Statistics, and it's just uh, displaying distributions with uh, some graphs. So we're going to do a bar graph towards the end here. So a few definitions here. Individuals are objects that describes data. So they can be um, uh, they can be a, a people, animals, or things. They can be like airline companies. They could be the individuals and so on. So a variable is any characteristic of the individual. So for example, if we use the airline company, a variable could be did they have their flights on time or were they delayed? Those would be the variables. Uh, and so they're just uh, the characteristic of the, of, of the airline company. So they can be different values uh, for different variables. Categorical variables. Uh, places are, are places, individuals, uh, places individuals into groups or categories. So whether they were on time or they were delayed, those were categorical variables. Okay, so uh, like places, genders, or types of things. Okay, quantitative variables takes on numerical values. So, you know, if you have anything that describes uh, such as, like, as averages or percents or anything, those would be anything that deals with numbers, you guys, are quantitative variables. If they're not numbers, then it's probably going to be a categorical variable. Okay, the distribution of a variable tells you uh, what values the variable takes and how often it takes on these variables. Okay, so here's an example. So in 2009, um, a total of uh, nine... Uh, 1,930 million cases of soft drinks were sold by the following companies. Okay, so here's the companies, cases sold, and the percents. Okay, now you guys are probably haven't realized it yet. You need to be pausing this video if you're uh, taking notes on this. So uh, my students, uh, in case I'm talking to my students basically. So um, uh, Coke Company sold 4,377.5 million cases, and so the, the percent ended up being 44.1%. Okay, Pepsi sold uh, that many cases, and their percent was 31.4%. Dr. Pepper and 7-Up, it just kind of goes down from here, you guys, 14.7%. Uh, Cot Corp um, uh, is a soda company, uh, not sold too much out here in California, uh, but it is sold in other places, 3.1%. National Beverage, uh, that's a 2.1%. Um, when I was a kid, we used to drink RC Cola, which is Royal Crown. 1.2%. Uh, I don't see RC Cola too much anymore. Uh, okay, and then uh, others. There's always others, so it can total 100% um, right there. Okay, so the total is always going to be 100% afterwards. All right, so uh, given that data right there, we're going to go ahead and describe the individuals. What are the individuals? Okay, they are all the soft drink companies. Okay, for each individual, what are the variables? So what describes the soft drink companies and are they categorical or quantitative? Okay, so the cases sold is one of the variables and that's definitely numeric, so that's going to be uh, quantitative. All right, and same with percent. That's another variable and that's also quantitative because they're numbers, if they are numbers. Now the only time they are numbers but they wouldn't be um, uh, categorical are like numbers on a jersey, you know, the basketball players, those numbers, those would be categorical because they're describing, you know, they're, cate they're describing, they're not, you know, doing a numerical calculation or anything. Okay, so cases sold in percents are the, are the variables and they're definitely quantitative. All right, so construct a bar graph of this data and label everything. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and construct this bar graph. The bar graphs, any kind of graph, always has a title. So the title is what we're talking about here. 2009 soft drink sales, okay, and label your axes down here, okay, and this is uh, my company, so the, the soda companies, Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Colt, National Beverage, RC, and other, okay, over here is going to be my percents right there, okay, I'm sorry, my case is sold in millions, sorry you guys, all right, so my case is sold in millions, all right, so, so we just go back to uh, how many cases of Coke and uh, Coke sold, all right, so it was up there. I forgot the number, you guys. I'd have to go back. So it's just a bar graph. You guys have done these before. Now, the difference between bar graphs and what we're going to do later, mostly we do what's called a histogram. Okay, our calculators also do histograms. Histograms are just bar graphs all squished together. There's none of this spacing in between it. Okay, I, I don't know why they, they chose the difference between the two. Bar graphs no, has space between them. Histograms is a bar graph with no space. But this is a bar graph. Okay, so there's uh, Dr. Pepper. And I just chose different colors. Uh, you didn't have to do different colors. Okay, try to use straight edges. I'm going to require my students to be using straight edges. I don't want to see sloppy notes. Okay, and so when they give the notebook quizzes, I'm going to want straight edges also. Okay, and that's it, you guys. Nice, easy lesson. And if you're in, in my... Uh, uh, statistics class, I would assign that 
for your homework assignment. Take care.